Okay, hi guys, uh, welcome to the British Pear channel. Uh, this is going to be the first official upload um, of my traveling videos. Uh, so first I'll just go through a little introduction. So my name's uh, Lee, I'm 25 years old, I'm from the UK. I'm currently at my gran grandma's house right now and uh, I'm isolating myself for two weeks. So I've quit my job and uh, now decided to just stay here for two weeks before I go traveling just to ensure the fact that I pass and that pass the COVID test that I'm going to do. Okay, so what is this channel? This channel is just me traveling around and uh, going to hopefully loads of different places and showing you around. Yeah, just pretty much just a travel vlog. Um, I try and like loads of foods and showing like my feelings along the way as well, like the good and bad sides of different things, uh, the good and bad like different experiences that I'm gonna go through. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, for my first one, go cycling. So first off, before I explain all that, my first official plan that I had in my head completely got cancelled. So I was first wanting to travel completely around the world, uh, just cycling. Uh, that didn't work out very well considering from the UK, so coming down into Europe, now Brexit happened. So uh, coming into the UK, uh, coming into Europe, you only get like 90 days out of the 180 days where you can go around in the Schengen area. So it made it very, very difficult to plan. And then COVID hit as well. So yeah, made it very difficult to be able to travel freely to different countries. So I sat sat down for a while. I thought and thought, hey, what's the best idea? What should I do? And I came up with the idea to go to New Zealand. So I used to live in New Zealand when I was younger and therefore I have a permanent residency visa. So I can enter and exit New Zealand whenever I want thought it would probably be the best place to go right now, and especially with their state, their COVID state right now. Um, it's very good. So yeah, that's where my plan was and where my plan now is. Now I'm going to New Zealand. Um, my plan for New Zealand is I'm going to cycle. So I'm, I've decided to, I'll fly into Auckland. I'll do my two weeks of quarantine there and then once I come out of quarantine, I'll head down to Invercargill, uh, which is right at South Island, right down at the south of South Island, and then cycle all the way up. Uh, so through Dunedin, through Christchurch, up to Picton, go across the crossing, and then go all the way through Palmerston North, go up to Taupo, up to Auckland, and then up to Cape Reinga. Uh, after that, I'll then come back down. Um, and come back down to the East Coast Bays where I'll then finish my official cycling trip. But uh, overall, it'll be around 3,000 kilometers of cycling and I've estimated that it should take me around like maybe 90 days because I want to see some places stop over as well, uh, enjoy some sights, maybe stay in a city for a week or so. So the rest of this video is going to be basically um, me going through my COVID test, going through the airport, and then also the quarantine at the end. Okay, so the next time you'll see me is when I will be talking about my COVID test and when I'm going there to get it done. Hopefully it's negative. Right, see you then. Right, so we've jumped forward to test day and that is about two days after I last recorded the, the last bit. Um, so in a few hours, uh, my dad will come and pick me up from here and take me to the um, test facility place, which is in Manchester Airport, so in the train station bit. And I'll go in, have things shoved down, like to swap things, shoved down my throat and shoved up my nose. And uh, yeah, hopefully it comes back negative so I can continue the rest of this video. Uh, you're probably only seeing this video if it is negative because I wouldn't be posting this. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens.
So as you can see, I'm back and yep, also had a haircut as well. Uh, yeah, I've been back for like two days now since my test and I got my results last night. I am negative, yes. But uh, yeah, I I'm really happy with that. I'm so nervous for the past like two days, just really, really hoping that it didn't come back positive because that would have just wrecked all of the plans that I had. Uh, they pretty much give you like one chance to do everything right perfectly and everything has to line up so perfectly as well. Uh, but yeah, as, as you can see by the video before this, um, uh, with like some of the testing that they did, like with uh, putting the swab up my nose and everything, it really wasn't comfortable whatsoever, but it was nice and straightforward. Went into the airport and uh, checked in, um, went round, went straight in, got tested within a few minutes and left. And uh, yeah, then it's just a waiting game to see what your results are. So luckily I'm negative and um, yeah, it's really good news, really good news. I can finally relax and just get prepared now to get on that plane and get going to New Zealand, get in that quarantine hotel. I'm actually, I actually cannot wait to get into the quarantine hotel and just chill out for two weeks uh, before I start this journey. So the next bit will be me going to the airport and going through. Uh, I should only need like two things. I need my quarantine hotel voucher. I need to prove that before I get on the plane. And I also need to prove my negative test as well. So it should be quite straightforward with everything there. Um, yeah, and then I'm flying to New Zealand. It's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> I, I can't wait for this. Uh, yeah, see you guys at the airport. Okay, hello and welcome to the MIQ. Uh, this is my first official full day of being here. Um, I arrived yesterday and I recorded this already, but I was way too tired. I looked at the footage and it was just 
absolutely awful. So I um, thought, start again, let's record this uh, when I'm less tired and I've had a proper sleep. Um, don't feel like the jet lag's hit me yet, but we'll see how that goes. So this is the room. So quickly, we have the bed and we have another bed. And then we just have the hallway area with a little tea and coffee area here with some free water they're given. Um, some plates, bowls, cutlery, and a fridge and a wardrobe. And there is also a safe and a hairdryer. Don't think I'll need that though. And then, yep, yeah, just my stuff and my books and tipping point on TV. Uh, yep, yeah, my time killer and my laptop. And yep, yeah, we've got heating, which is really good. That came in handy this morning when it was ice cold when I woke up. Um, oh, and in here we have the bathroom. So just nice clean white bathroom there and yeah i mean i've had lunch when i got here that was ready in my room when i already got here and a nice big sandwich and i'll put a picture up on screen of that um and then i've had uh my dinner which was a salmon and like a sweet potato like cake i guess um and then this morning just some cereal with yogurt and some apple juice so yeah all those pictures will be up on the screen anyway for you um i've already had my covid test for my day zero arrival and i should get that within like well, the end of the day today or early tomorrow and then you get a wristband which then allows you to go outside which if you can see here this is the like i don't know it's quite hard to see it's like a uh, car park area over there and people just walking around exercising uh so that allows me to go out there and um do all those things obviously if i'm negative um yeah and this is where i'll be spending the next two weeks there's not much else to say really um other than the fact that the whole experience from the airport and coming into the MIQ um, was absolutely just perfect. It took a little bit of time coming over here on the coach, but that was about it. Uh, it's been really smooth the whole way and everyone's been so nice and so helpful. Um, there was only 29 people, I think they said, on the flight from my last leg of the flight from Kuala Lumpur over to Auckland. Uh, so we all got into this hotel. This hotel is the um, Distinction Hotel in Hamilton. And it's quite an old hotel, they said. I think they said it was from like the 1970s or something. And it started off as like a conference hotel. Um, so yeah, the rooms are, I mean, he said it was really dated, but it's not, that bad at all it's really nice um yeah really like it and i hope that i can go out and exercise out there soon but yeah for now there's not much else to say i'll give a little um update video the nearing the end of quarantine just to let you know how everything's going obviously if i'm still all negative with my tests hopefully i should be um but yeah that's it so until the next time, bye.